Morning, morning, gorgeous, gorgeous people. Um, so you probably don't know this, but I'm kind of trialling with some of my members this uh, seven-minute um, challenge. So we do seven minutes of exercise every morning. Uh, and that's really cool. A bit of cardio, get so and seeing how it changes our body. It's really already in a week changed mine um, because I do it on top of my classes. However, I'm also trialling the um, seven-minute meditation and seven minutes of tapping. Right, um, because to say I'm going to sit down and do some tapping and clear some shit is all really cool, but like then you think, oh, I've got things to do. What if something big comes up? And so what I do is I think, right, well, you know what? We can do this in seven minutes too. You just it's like um, as Brad Yates says, it was really cool. It's like um, um, EFT hygiene. It's like you know emotional hygiene, just tapping. But I'm doing it for seven minutes because something can come up, especially if you've been doing it for a while, like I have, and you've done it yourself quite a bit, like I have. I know a lot of my friends who are, um, are tappy tappers and practitioners and masters and trainers and stuff. But I don't know what you, you know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well. So I did like seven minutes because you know what? I've got a cold. That's what I did. I don't have much of one now, which is so frigging cool, right? So I have a bit of a cold. I felt groggy. I'm like, oh, I don't want to go out with my mum to do blah, blah, blah. I feel a bit, just a bit like all bunged up. I, felt, I haven't had much sleep because I'm like, ugh, ugh. I woke up at half past five. I got awoken. As you know, as you do. I thought I was just can't be bothered. So I was going to tap on, even though, even though I've got this terrible sore throat. And all of a sudden, right, I got this really itch in my ears. Oh, what's that? It's like dust in my ears, right? Um, so you know what's coming, don't you? <laughs> Probably. And then I'm like, oh my god, my eyes are itching. I'm like, oh, what's going on? Oh my goodness! Wham, bam, straight back, past lives. There I am. There I am, buried. Right? I'm like, oh my goodness. All right, and I'm going to stop it there for one sec. Du, 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 cliffhanger. And take you back to, at the moment, I'm really struggling to find what my message is. Like, I know what I want to do, and I do some really great work with people, um, but I feel my message can be quite confused. So I'm really working on how to be concise with getting across how I can actually help people. Because I can, and I do, but I really want more people to be able to access the help I give. But I think I'm not being clear, right? So... Take that, and then, right, and so there I am in my, um, doing this, I said, oh my goodness, people just don't understand me, whatever I do, they don't understand me, and they, oh, what, what, sorry, it went off there, right, people never understand me, people always get me wrong, so basically I've been buried, because I wasn't actually, shouldn't, I wasn't dead, but they buried me anyway, I have never had like a claustrophobic issue, I do however have an issue about lice, worms and maggots, Tap, tap, tap on that. But this was really interesting, right? So um, I already had had a, was open to the opportunity to open to the fact that my cold was an upper limit problem because I've been doing loads of creative work, loads of course creating, and loads of um, really cool stuff, especially like Susie and things. I've been doing amazing work, um, but I've hit this kind of oh, how do I get my message across? How do I tell people how amazing this is what I'm creating? And then boom, cold. Um, and it isn't like a bad one. It just makes me feel a bit ropey. <clears throat> and um, and then this. So people always get me wrong, right? And nobody understands what I'm trying to say. And do you know what? So tap, tap, tap. And then what happened was I took her out of the coffin. And what happened was the coffin then, we turned it into a swimming pool. And then she actually had this beautiful house with all her, you know, family there. Everyone, there's a lot of love in the room. So I turned it from a coffin to a swimming pool. So there she was with her, you know, um, feet down again in a swimming pool. A bit older than me, actually. <laughs> and uh, it was all good. And I'm like, well, so I re-imprinted that and we changed that. And my goodness, I come out of it. I'm like, no, I don't feel drowsy. I don't feel a bit icky. Um, I know it sounds a bit nasal, um, but I was like, oh my goodness. And I'm only sharing it with you because the power of EFT, and not only that, the power of going past life is utterly cataclysmic because past lives kind of, I wouldn't say, I mean, not every time, but when you go back to past lives, it just has this huge boof effect. Um, so massive thanks well, to Carl, but, and it what to, to get me into EFT and teaching me and training me like three times, but also to his sister, Caroline Dawson, who taught me, um, how to, how to really tune into past lives re imprinting. So anyway, I just couldn't, I just wanted to share that sometimes I still get utter like, oh, wow, this is amazing. Because I really did feel horrible. And to know that it comes from being buried alive. 
I just like, you know, and you know it's worked because I feel better. Not only that, I'm super clear now. Um, yeah, I'm super clear on my message. So you'll probably see that soon as well. But I just had to share because it's so cool. So like, um, I've been doing quite a bit of past lives, which honestly so many of my clients have gone past lives as well. So maybe it's a thing that I'm kind of um, doing at the moment, but it's well cool. And so I just had to share that. And so that's really cool. So tap, tap, tap. People will understand me. And if, you, if you're right here going, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> That'll kind of solidify my archaic belief. Anywho, I feel like giddy because that was such a huge... It literally, I started welling up because it was such a strong belief. The, the, the field of it was so strong. People don't understand me. They won't get me. They don't, they, I don't know what... You know, they don't understand what I'm trying to say. And then they'll get me all wrong and they won't understand... It's so cool. I thought someone just fallen down the stairs. No, they haven't. It's just really loud. <laughs> anyway, I had to share. I hope you enjoyed that and hope you stuck to the end. I'm like, what the fuck? Anyway, if you want to, if you want to go past life and have a look at something that, um, if somebody's bothering you, but it does also show that EFT hugely effective for illnesses in the moment. If, really, if work really, really well, if you can admit that it might be an upper limit problem. Want to know what that is? Let's get in touch.